Okay, we're going to climb these ladders to the 6600 level. Tom's going first. These ladders are in pretty good shape. And there's platforms. So it's not one straight shot. A little tight there. And these ladders have the three nails on both sides of each rung. And they're notched, which makes them really safe and sturdy. Switching over. This one has a large pipe alongside of it, two pipes. Yeah, so you transfer to the other platform and go up the next ladder and then transfer back over to the other platform and it alternates like that all the way up. We just don't know how tall this is. It could be 200 feet, 500 feet, or maybe 100 feet. Okay, we are climbing up this raise. We've come up a couple hundred feet, if not more. And here's a good shot showing the ladders, how they alternate with these platforms. And that's Julie up there. I think that's the last ladder. Tom's already up there and he's at the 6600 level. And we've just come up from all the way down there. And uh, so one tight squeeze with the pipe here, but we got past it. And that's where we're headed. So there's the top of the ladder, 6600 level. And I noticed right here on this platform is a metal uh, bracket that says, See if I can get the lighting right. So here at the 6600 level, at the top of the manway, are two big grizzlies. A grizzly is uh, is the uh, uh, the metal bars you see here, and they dump the ore down, and the rocks that can fit through there fit through, and the ones that don't get stuck. And those are ore passes that go down to the main haulage tunnel we were in, where those metal ore chutes were with the, um, with the piston, probably. And there's another grizzly over here. Same thing, they're side by side. This one's a little bit, uh, looks like the bars might be a little bit closer together, but it's all fallen, fallen into disrepair. And these, we think, Tom was saying, these might be ore passes coming down from... We believe there's two more levels above us, and this was the collecting point. See over here it says 6700 level uh, up through this blocked off uh, ore pass. See right there it says 6700 level with an arrow. So this was a collecting point, and here's the, uh, the man wave we just came up. We figured we climbed about 300 feet um, up these ladders, and that's a shot looking down, down at what we just climbed up. And look how there's a a trap door right there to keep it closed. And the tunnel goes off that way. And there's some minor graffiti right here. Joan, 79. And that must be Joan. And then somebody wrote putts. So we got a Joan and we got a putts. Take your pick. And here's looking up at the overhead. And we're going to head down this way. Here you got tubing for ventilation. And water or air. That's what this tubing is. Looks like a junction. Look at the tracks up here. Okay, so we're continuing down the uh, 6600 level, and it says right here, they did some more sampling, and it says, no good. Well, we've, we've passed a couple branches that look like they went really far, so this is a really, really extensive line. Well, looks like looks like that's the end. And the same thing here. So we found here in the mine a pair of rubber coveralls, yellow in color, that the miners probably wore. And so, Julie's doing a nice job of modeling them. She is. She could be on the prices right. Right. <laughs> yeah, probably waterproof. Uh, so when you're drilling and stuff, the water, yeah, you don't get all full of water. So this is the drift off the main. Tunnel. We didn't check this out, so we're checking it out now. This tunnel has a different characteristic. It's got this, uh, I think that's just dirt and dust. I don't think that's mold or anything. 
And uh, here's a very intricate section of pipes, a junction, all these pipes. This right here looks like it might have been a, let's see this is a dead end or not. Well, that's another branching tunnel, looks like it might dead end down there though. So we're continuing down the drift tunnel here, kind of a long straight section. Yeah, you can see here on the pipe, the dirt and dust that's accumulated. So that's what's on the tunnel wall. That's not mold or any kind of growth. That's just dirt. These tunnel walls are probably actually dark brown, but all this dust makes them look like a light tan color. So that's kind of deceiving. So here's another branch that keeps going there to the left, but we'll continue down the main tunnel here. Approaching a timbered section, short timbered section. Ah, here it says 825 rays. There must have been a raise here at one point. A shaft going up with ladders like we climbed earlier. But it looks like they took it away and filled it in. Approaching some kind of junction, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it's a dead end. Or just in the end. And a pair of overalls up there. Pipes everywhere down here. Oh, the, oh Danger Explosive Powder Magazine. That's what oh, that yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. Here's one of those we've seen. Yep, here's where they kept the explosives. Maybe they're still in there. Danger, explosives, powder magazine, 6600 level. Ready? Yep. Ooh. Yep, empty. That's got the yeah. wooden floor like they always seem to have. Empty. So these pipes are made by Northwest Pipe Casing Company. They're all over the place, here and right here, suspended. That's who made those. And we're headed that way back towards Julie. So we're checking out this other drift. I noticed right here, Abba Zabba. It looks like there's a lot of ore contracts up here, kind of off to the right. Buckets, a big metal bucket. A ladder, big square timbers, Here's tapioca pudding. and a tapioca pudding can. <laughs> yep, a lot of ore card tracks though, and a bucket, an empty bucket. Wow, this goes just keeps going. Very extensive drift levels in this mine we're finding. I feel like we walked a couple miles. I'm not sure how far we've walked, but it seems that way. There's your finally a wood box of yeah, it's a wooden of uh, wooden Hercules, I'm thinking. Yeah, Hercules. It's not one box. of the um, older ones, but it's Yep. High explosives, dangerous. And over here there's some Boards. Those are cross ties. Cross ties, yeah. So we've reached the end of this drift. This was a long one. So here at the end of the drift, you can see the blasting holes that are left behind. And here's a closer look at all these timbers. And we're going to. We're going to head back out that way. So we're back at the manway we came up and we're going to check out this 
branching drift to the left. We've checked all the stuff out to the right. And uh, look at this big ore chute. This is a, an incline shaft, uh, Frank, with a, had a lift on it at one time. Oh, yeah, we're at the bottom of an incline shaft. Look at that. And they blocked it off. They quit using it. I wonder if the ladders keep going up. They probably do. Let me have a look. And then looks like it continues yeah. that way. So here's some kind of shipping box. And Tom said there was a label on the end here. That was kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. Ba oh. Battery. Battery locomotive. They must have had a locomotive type thing in here to pull the machinery through. I don't know. Yeah. So check out these miners' dots. Uh, they usually put them in a grid pat pattern like a square, but these ones kind of go off and they trail up and kind of curve up off to the right. Yeah, this is a little bit of artistic flair there. Right this is got to be the original entrance. So we think this blocked off inclined shaft are some of the older workings. And then over here is a just a little a little shelving unit, a little cubby. So continuing down past this shipping container that had a locomotive in it. Yeah, those big pieces of equipment, they would sometimes bring them into the mine in pieces and then build them inside the mine. So that's what that was all about. Here's more ventilation tubing. They would hang that cloth or plastic bag from the tunnel ceiling and blow air through it to, to keep the air circulated for the miners, for the workers. Some collapse there. And the tunnel just keeps going. Check out all the blasting holes. Well, the main tunnel goes that way, but there's a branch here that looks like it keeps going. Wow. And look at how new this lumber looks. There's just no moisture in here, or not enough to cause any severe damage to the wooden timbers. Those look brand new like the day they were brought in here decades ago. Same thing with the timbering in this arch. It's a uh, really good condition. Looks like the tunnel turns to the left up here. And we're approaching a junction. Wow. Branches off of branches off of branches. All right, two jokers, we'll see you later. Okay, Tom's making his descent back down to the main haulage tunnel. Don't drop rocks on my head. Right, yeah, and then we're gonna go down and turn. We only keep one person on the ladder at a time. That way, in case a rock gets dropped down, it won't hurt somebody that's lower.